Hi, I'm Daz. Up to now, I've been using a small portable digital receiver like this one for my digital television or a satellite card uh, that's built into my PC. But uh, now I've got a nice mini tuner that I've built. Um, it's made some of the equipment I've made redundant um, because it's capable of tuning down to 146 megs. Whereas previously, with the satellite receiver, um, it'll only tune down to 950. This is some of my now redundant hardware. Um, this is an um, up converter for 437. And if I can just pull out slightly, there we go. What it basically consists of is the 437 signal comes in. And this is a front end pulled off a Tate PMR radio. I think it was a T198, I can't quite remember, but uh, the output of that is fed into this, which is a Direct TV SUP 2400 converter. The capacitor you can see um, poking out the top of the can enables me to get hold of the voltage that's put out by the um, uh, satellite receiver so I can use that to power this front end so the idea of this is that the front end is filtered to try and stop too much um, other junk going into the converter before it's up converted there isn't a lot of gain on the front of this so I tend to find I have to use a line amp but if I just show this even though it's a bit redundant now in theory all I really need now is the uh, front end and a little bit of Preamplification for 70 centimeters. Uh, this is a up converter I knocked up for the 146 band for a reduced bandwidth television. Um, there's a low noise preamp in the front. Again, a bit of filtering that's come off something or other. A mixer, an output filter which is laying here, and this big pile here is actually from a pile a Pi L band um, receiver. Um, it's a it's basically being used as the local oscillator. So that's basically the up converter I built but um, I don't think I'm going to use it now. I've got the mini tuner. And here's a another preamplifier. This one is for 23 centimeters so of course there's no up or down conversion so with this one the uh, RF comes into this preamplifier which has got a good dynamic range and the output of it goes through a homebrew filter I managed to pick up at a radio rally and the output um, then goes to the satellite receiver I've also got as you can see here a device that enables me to pull the power again from the output of the satellite receiver to power the preamplifier. Unfortunately I live two miles from a water tower and that water tower has high power um, mobile phone transmitters and paging transmitters in the uh, 140 and 150 megahertz band so a little bit of filtering is quite essential for me before putting it into any satellite receiver because it has to be remembered that a satellite receiver um, is designed to take intermediate frequencies from an LMB on a dish and it's not really designed to have a high dynamic range so if you don't have some filtering in the front of the satellite receiver you're going to get overload problems plus of course the LMB, LMB provides a lot of gain so we have to make that gain up when we're using it as a amateur TV receiver. Looks like it's time to start something uh, a little bit more high-tech. This is my um, mini tuner. Got all the components I hope and uh, start building it and hopefully be able to uh, take uh, narrowband TV portable 
Well, I'm built enough to do some tests now, so uh, it's all going quite well. Just setting the voltage regulator up. It's very, very tricky, but uh, that that will be fine. I'm, I no doubt, um, as long as it's uh, not more than 5.1, um, so that the Zener diode doesn't conduct. I'm sure it'll be fine. I guess the next step is to put the uh, link back in and test the voltage on the regulators. That's good. Yeah, that looks good for the tuner. Another 3.3. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, that will do. Right, so did I have any problems? No, apart from I didn't think I had any 1% resistors, and I did. Um, everything's gone together quite nicely. Right, let's get the tuner on next. Okay, so uh, all soldered in. I'm not sure if the current's right. I'll have to try and figure that out. Um, the tuner gets quite warm. Well, if that's normal, I hope nothing's wrong. But uh, as usual, me looking on the back side, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, yep, yeah, that looks good. All green indicators so I expect the next test is to try and transmit something to it not sure who that bloke is with the uh, glasses and camcorder but uh, yeah I seem to be working got the monitor receiver on it hasn't even got an aerial in it and it's uh, receiving I've got the uh, output well below a milliwatt so interesting that's nice when things work very nice okay it's a signal source I've got the uh, DATV Express here no amplifier but it turned down below a milliwatt as well it's got a monitor receiver uh, just to see if uh, I'm actually putting something out yeah no aerial that's interesting definitely says something about the screening and there's a mini tuner so the laptop is doing both functions it's doing the DATV Express transmit and the mini tuner receive looks like a good result to me very good result 